Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about strengthening rehabilitation of the splenius capitis muscle. The splenius capitis is a ipsilateral rotator of the head. It also extends the head and it performs a little bit of contralateral translation. Through the splenius capitis actually pierces the lesser occipital nerve and in, uh, when there is dysfunction of this muscle it can cause entrapment of the lesser occipital nerve and thus sub uh, subsequent occipital neuralgia. Now, this muscle is very often injured in patients with chronic neck pain, especially whiplash patients. Uh, if you palpate the nuchal line there uh, towards the mastoid process, often they will have great discomfort. And this is, of course, indicative of dysfunction of that muscle. Now, how do you strengthen the muscle? Uh, we simply do those, uh, those tasks that it performs. So you put your hand on your temple area, not at the forehead, but at the temple. Uh, you give a light, light resistance, especially if the patient is already impaired. You yield a slight resistance to the temple. You turn the head back towards the spine, okay, because the muscle attaches between the master process and the nuchal ligament. So once again, you add a light resistance to the temple. Pull simultaneously back towards the spine. You do not want to pull towards the scapula because that is the elevator scapula okay and you will you may get some uh, stimuli but because this is actually translation ipsilateral translation of the occiput uh, you may not target the splenius at all especially in an injured patient so this is how it looks like i will do a few repetitions light pressure And of all, as always, you want to make sure that you're not hinging at the neck, right? Because if you hinge at the neck, the strengthening will be useless, more or less, and your patient will just get worse. Now, you can also palpate the muscle as they do the exercise, because once again, if the muscle is injured, most likely the, the patient will not really want to use that muscle, of course, subconsciously. So just make them use a very light pressure, have, palpate the muscle, and have them do the exercise very slowly, and you should feel that the spleen is capped this... Uh, uh, engages properly and then of course you want to give it some time right you can do well, for a very injured patient one to ten repetitions slow repetitions one set a couple of times per week of course uh, for a moderate injury you know five to ten repetitions a couple of times a couple of times per week that is my recommendation as always start carefully if you go too hard you will get too much pain the patients will be uh, discouraged and you will not have any progress so start carefully and make sure that you tell your patient that if they have this injury, there will be some discomfort initially, and that is normal, and they just need to push through it with some patience. I hope this video was informative. I wish you all a nice day.